Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Final Fantasy XII. We're here in the wet place that we don't want to be in yet. So what I've done between episodes is, we look at this really quick. Um, it turns out everyone had the ability to uh, take a second class, so that's what I did. Um, I did change a few people around, so Bothier is no longer a machinist, now he's a Bushy Shikari. Uh, Fraun is still an archer, but we changed over to a red mage. Um, Bosch is still a knight, but he is now also a time battle mage. Ash is no longer a knight, or whatever else we had her as. She's now a white mage machinist. And Penelo is no longer an Ulan. She's now a red mage black mage. Um, this is supposedly not exactly an optimal setup, but it's supposed to help us... Um, supposed to be good for beginners, supposedly. <laughs> That's what I am, definitely. Um, whether or not we actually manage to choose the right uh, licenses as we go is nothing entirely, but we'll see. So what I want to do... Um, what it seemed like we had a trouble with last time was we were trying to attack, attack the crocodile, and we couldn't do it. I think we can with Vaughn, Ash, and maybe Balthier the way it is now. What I would like to do is get uh, Fraun and Penelo at the very least, and also maybe Bosch, up to level 21. Uh, we all hit 25. I think that would be great. Um, but that's probably, it's probably not going to happen. But if we get we get our current selection up to everyone to being 21, I'll be happy. Um, so that'd be Vaughn, Bosch, and Penelo. Um, Bosch with his time battle mage stuff. And then we're going to go to the gambits and shut those time battle mage stuff off right now. Because I think right now... I mean, if you have HP up to 5,000, you're more than welcome. Uh, if you want to mobilize, that's fine. But I think right now we're going to disable this and this. The charge is okay, and then, you know, just attack. That should be fine. Penelo's gonna try to heal us as best she can. As a red mage, not exactly her biggest deal, but... Um, if she can use, use fire and thunder and whatever else, that'd be great. So she'll try to help out on the back line as best she can. But we don't want to do this here. We don't want to be here. Because this has level 25 guys in it, and we are totally not ready for that. So what we're gonna do instead is, we look at the world map... We're going to fight over at the Tomb of Wraithwall. We could teleport there, and that would get us there faster. But it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. It's about what we do along the way. So we're going to go back up to Rabinastra. We're going to head west. And we're just going to explore this entire region all over again. And just grind a little bit. The Final Fantasy game, you got to expect a little bit of grinding. We have, of course, changed out all their equipment, so they're mostly okay. Vaughn is fighting barehanded right now. Um, I did not adjust his licenses properly when I reset. Um, so he is... Uh, he can't actually wield the musk, uh, the must staff right now. That's something we'll have to deal with. For right now, he's okay. I mean, he's the highest level character. He's basically just power leveling Bosch and Penelo for the best he can. Just by basically getting in the way. Um, I have been battling a lot in this area, so chances are this is all going to be empty. Yeah, it's all completely empty for now. That's okay. The next place definitely is not going to be as we go to the west. And in fact, let's take the uh, the Moogle Express over there so we don't have to go through town. Uh, yeah, let's go to the west gate, please. Thank you. Be sure to blind me in my way there. Thank you very much. I mean, that's going to happen, right? Okay, so we want to go straight west, which is this way. Okay, so we're going to be dealing with a lot of these guys. Oh, interesting. They've actually changed up the environment here, too. Yeah! So Vaughn just cast Poison, and then Penelo went in with the attack. That's a little unexpected. That's not what I expected to happen there. Oh, Vaughn's still got all of his... Yeah, so he's going to poison... Okay, Penelo's just going to murder these guys. He's going to poison them because his gambit says at 100%. For a foe, you poison. Once they're below 100%, well, of course, then Penelope can just murder them. But eventually... Yeah, these guys are probably not good for getting the LP and experience we need, so we should probably just keep on heading west. Um, yeah, keep on heading west here. I guess we pr should probably just go ahead and disable... Well, those gambits right now. Let's disable this one. 
He might steal. It's hard to tell. Oh, yeah. There we go. He's actually going to steal. A good thing, too, because otherwise Penelope will just come in right in and just murder. What does Penelope's gambit stick at? Hold on. Okay, I guess she has nothing else to do. She will attack. If they're not weak to anything, she'll totally just attack them. All right. That's fine. I have somebody in the front line, aside from Vaughn. What did these guys do? So, arrow on this guy because he's weak to wind, apparently. Oh, hell yeah, he's weak to wind. Holy fuck. <laughs> That's the benefit of having a black mage on the party, I suppose. Find their weak point and... Or their weak point and exploit it. And I don't even need to know because they'll just do it. All right, yeah, go ahead and steal that. Apparently he's going to be stuck on stealing for a bit, but Penel will take care of it. There you go. Thank you. Apparently he's slowed by... Bosh, I believe, did the time magic on him. So 266 for her attack. I didn't quite see what Vaughn's was. Was he comparable? Okay, yeah. Steal from this guy for sure. Then attack. 232. 219 on those attacks. I didn't see if, if uh, she actually got an attack off. Oh, Sand Elemental. We gotta be careful of that. Damn, this is going to be tough to get through past these sun muscles. We got to do it, though. We got to go past it. Okay. I mean, Noma and Titan. 45! 45. Maybe we do need to teleport to the dungeon. 45 is going to be basically impossible for us to take out. Let's see if we can go around. If we can avoid the elemental. That'd be great. Yeah, like this guy is fine. We can totally deal with this dude. Grab a molting and then wreck him. 27. Yeah. And Penlo did not get a comparable attack off, so we don't know exactly what damage it's going to be like here. Okay, this guy we should be able to hit. Uh, dive challenge. 27. Maybe not. Let's not. Let's not mess with that. A little dangerous. And the wolves are fine. We can deal with the wolves. Okay, she's doing a lot more damage. 341. So Vaughn's 220 is looking a little uh, anemic, shall we say. That's going to be the elemental right there, so let's just go past it. Don't even worry about it. we can get through this sandstorm and get over to the actual desert we want to get to, we should be okay. Okay. Unclear what that was, but it looked hella cool. Okay. Just wreck him. I'm okay with that. And we're getting experience for both Bosch and Penelo here, so I'm totally fine with this. I mean, 227 is not a lot, but it is decent. Especially for the enemies we're going up against now. For level 21, it is bad. We do want to get him as mustic as, or as the musk pole, whatever it was, as soon as possible. And those guys are weak to something the black mage can throw out, so thank you. So why the gambits are useful. Like, I don't know enough about these bad guys to be able to do this effectively. So by having the game do it for me, it's almost like I know what I'm doing. We need to keep on going. Yeah, we need to go to the Ogre Senso Sansi. So keep on going to the west. If we can beat up some of these guys, I'd be okay with that. The boss is going to do slow on at least one of these guys, but he's probably not going to... Yeah, he did not get a chance before Penelo just wrecked him. I don't know I think this is the lowest level character right now. I think she's 14. It's going to be a while until we can get anybody else attacking. Uh, let me look at that, actually. No, she's 16 now. Bosch is 14. So Bosch is going to be with the team for a while. I want to attack you. I mean, it would give us some experience if Vaughn can hold his own. Let's attack the wolves first. And then attack the big guy. Like, level 25 is high, but if Vaughn can... Vaughn can tank. 
and then Penelo comes in with some of the damage, we should be okay. Not too much if Bosch comes in with some of the damage. But that would give us some pretty sweet experience here. Let's try it out. Yeah. And big old whiff, unfortunately. The steel is really not going to cut it. Just keep on attacking. Uh, if we can actually hit this guy, that'd be great. Ha. So it's not going to cut it either here, Bosh. Wow. Wow. Are we just not able to hit this guy at all? Attack the dive talent, please. Okay, he's out. Bye, Bosh. I'm going to use a mist here. Let's use a red spiral here. That hurt. Take some casting time. I have no idea if it's going to work. Okay, Penelo's missed. Here goes. Probably should have done that when Bosch was back up. Too late. Okay, he did get hurt, so that's nice. Let's uh, let's bring Bosch back. But he's gonna be he's gonna be low health. Um, let's not bring Bosch back. Let's actually trade out the group here. How about that? Give me Fron. He should at least be up. Okay, double heal while Vaughn just takes this, I guess. Yeah. Apparently we can't hit. Yeah, we're having trouble hitting. Alright, so maybe Vaughn's not the right choice here. Give me... Give me Balthier instead of Vaughn. Oh, I can't get Vaughn out. He's busy doing something right now. Ha. Gotta wait for his attack to be done, and then can I take him out? Already characters. Oh, he's targeted. That's why. Okay. So Vaughn is stuck because he's targeted. Yeah. On the upside, we should eventually be able to do something here. Right. Eventually being the key word here. Both Fron and Penelo are busy making sure Vaughn doesn't die. Ha. Meanwhile, yeah. though, Vaughn is swinging uselessly at this guy. Uh, though he's not dead yet. Did the guy just leave? The guy left, didn't he? Bad guy left. He got bored with us. We did not get the experience for it. That was debatable. Debatable substance. Okay, so anyway, let's head west. Hopefully the sandstorm will be gone, then like lower level enemies we can actually deal with here. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, so should probably save the game here. We know there's a teleport stone at the um, at the temple. When we're done leveling up at the temple, when we're done grinding, we did we should definitely come back the same way, but. Okay, good. So there, this should be the way we left it. So this should be somewhat approachable, even with like all low-level characters. Actually, if I switch Vaughn to Bosch, we should be all right. Vaughn leave the party for a while. That's okay. Apparently, she's buffing. Oh, that's right. She's got an ability to do like. Yeah, put decoy. So Bosch will uh, be the decoy for everybody for a while. Oil is probably not important. So the fire could be good. Oh, and then the arrow shot. You know what? Sure, why not? She's going to do that a lot. Oil and then bash. Uh... Bosch should be the target for everything, hopefully. That's why she's going to keep on casting Lure on him, is because he has the highest defense. So we have something to go up here. Ron, unfortunately, according to most of the guides I've read, is not good at anything. She's an all-around jack-of-all-trades, good at nothing. Um, so making her an archer red mage seemed like the best thing we could possibly do for her. So, I mean, her as the leader of the party might be Argo. 
the leader might be Bosch instead, though he's barely doing any damage. Though Bosch has the most health out of everyone here, so him having... You know what I should do? That's what I... That's how the Gambit... Okay, no, I get it. The Gambit I have right now on her specifically says Bosch. But it needs to be the one with the highest defense. Which I don't have an option for. God damn it. Lowest defense thing can happen. I guess it could be strongest weapon. Who the hell knows who that is, though, like on a regular basis. I guess we could try this out. Alright, so let's also trade over so that Bosch is the leader. Uh, hold on, she's being targeted right now. She's being targeted by... Oh, herself, ha. Huh? Oh, she's she has the highest... She has the strongest weapon right now. That's hilarious. Okay, why not? Just... She can be a decoy for a bit. See if this works. Having the lowest health means that might not, but we'll see. She will oil him. I think she's just gonna continue to oil him. Well, Pendulum knows what to do with oil. She'll just cast fire on him until they die. There we go, there's the attack. I like the duck. That's not what I think when I think decoy, but that is kind of hilarious. Okay, so now he's got oil on him. Pendle's gonna cast fire, because, you know, uh. oil. And then Fran shoots him. Alright, great. And we'll eventually, you know, level up at some point. Fran will run out of magic. She does not have charge. Yeah, she's out of magic right now. Um, but she should be attacking. Why is she not attacking? I mean, I haven't told her to. Oh, because I said part of leader's target. All right, we'll just go with nearest visible right now because she's the target. She's she's leader. Yeah. There we go. And Penelope knows to do that too. Yeah. Once you know, because Penelope is never going to be the party leader. I never thought Fran would be either. Guess we get Bosch. We can change that over. We can make Bosch the party leader now. Whoops. Okay. Sorry. Party. Front away. There we go. The Bosch is now the party leader. Instead of nearest visible, we'll say party leader's target. Hopefully, Bosch is now the same problem. Let's say party leader's target. We'll go with uh, nearest visible. We still never do slow, so let's just do. Um, let's see. We'll go with. Highest speed, maybe. Seems like you should definitely make the one with the highest speed slow. Alright, so now Bathier is in charge. Alright, Bathier, don't kill anybody, alright? That's all I ask. He's a knight, but he is going to be doing a lot of time magic stuff, because that is the priority that we have set right now. They're going to cast slow, and then Penelo comes in and bashes them just until they're ready. And of course, wherever we go doesn't really matter too much. Fran has no real way to recover her magic except for uh, just waiting, really. So right now, she'll be able to cast like one spell and then she'll be exhausted. So we'll get gradually better at that, but Bosch at least has charge. Nobody else does. Oh no, I guess no penalty has charge. But he should have that at the lowest priority, so he should only do charge if he absolutely needs to. I can not in battle, hopefully. Meanwhile, Penelope's just rushing in and wrecking stuff, which is good. Yeah, there we go. So as his last resort, he'll do charge. If that's right. Yes, his last resort. I mean, he does have a lot of time magic stuff we're not using. Hopefully, we'll be able to do that later. Right now, I just want to make sure these guys level up. The B team leveled up. We're worried about the A team a little bit later. 
If we get the A team up to level 25, I'm gonna get everybody up to 25. That'd be great. I don't exactly know who's the A team and B team are yet. Right now, I'm th kind of thinking like this group's the B team, but I could be wrong. Of course, if Fron wants to become the lure right now, which apparently is going to happen. Wondering if maybe... Yeah, she's always going to cast a decoy on herself, it looks like. Because she has the strongest weapon right now. I was hoping highest defense would work. Lowest defense we definitely don't want. Uh, go this way. More bad guys, the better. As long as they aren't the elementals, we should be fine. Like, maybe slow, we should only do like 100%. The slow, like, on an enemy who's about to die is kind of a waste. We're knocking these guys out simply enough. Oh, there we go. He's actually alive. What do we have right now? It's just anybody highest speed. It's a good thought, but I think right now, not 100%, I think you just leave it. Immobilize should be fine, but maybe at, like, 90 or higher. Otherwise, just attack them. Otherwise, it's kind of useless. Going, looping around. Where am I supposed to be going? Oh, okay, this is a dead end. Fine by me. Out of some experience, it's the best thing. And some of these guys will actually respawn for us, which could be good. Alright, Fran just cast Lure on herself again. Blocks. Okay. Now with him actually slowed, we can do that. Disable might be good too. We'll see. I don't want to go this way. I want to go... Nope, not this way. I want to go north. It's all just a learning experience. We'll see what comes in better. Uh, front constantly guessing decoy herself may not be the best idea, but... Chances are she won't always have the most powerful weapon. It'll depend. I'd rather have, like, shield up. We'll see. Slow that guy. Come on, then attack. There we go. There we go. We'll get the levels up. And the LP. Just wish the LP wasn't only on those people who were in the main party. Basically, the experience bag leak. Well... So, I mean, it depends. It's like, story-wise, right? Story-wise, we're all here. Like, the entire party is, story-wise, all going through the same things that everyone else is. Like, during the cutscenes... Oh, that's funny, you got put to sleep. I don't have anything to wake you up here, Bosh. Um, but story-wise, the only thing to wake you up is damage. Like, everyone's here, so it makes no sense why there isn't experience leakage. There really should be. There we go. Grab some of this. Charge yourself up if you like. Treasure, please. There we go. Hey, man, the occasional bit of gill is totally fine by me. What we got. We could go. You know what? Fine. Let's explore north. Maybe there's treasure or something. At least there's some tomatoes. There we go. I'm gonna attack. Finish him off. Thank you. Yeah, the trouble with a lot of gambits is that they have to be extremely conditional. That seems to be my main problem right now is that I have like 10 gambits on some characters, but unfortunately, if they're not extremely conditional, like especially like White Mage, you know, basically just get rid of some debuffs. That stuff's important for sure. But I can't say like attack an enemy. If this, this, and this, because unfortunately that's not as exact as I would like. Or buff me if this happens, because it turns out we attack two enemies, or three enemies at once, a lot more often than I would think. I call these guys need to be slowed. Thank you for the cure there, Penelope. I need that. 
I remember also the Fron has healing as well. Okay, she just got protected. Though she doesn't seem to be luring anybody right now. Oh, she's not technically a lure right now. That's why. Okay, there we go. We all focus fire, it's dead simple. The trick is when we don't. Both Penelo and Fraun are both technically healers. They both have cure. That looked ugly. Mage here is not friendly, apparently. There you go. But there we go. She was a lure there, so that actually took the heat off a little bit. That's actually not bad. Uh, sure, we can go north. What the hell? I'm also doing this for the experience buff anyway. Like, we don't really need to get the tomb. It's probably better to delay our approach to the tomb until uh, Bosch is at least above level 15 or so. I think right now he is 15. Blocks and parries are good. Okay, good. So, no one's at 100% right now. You should be attacking the nearest. There you go. Yeah. Got kind of leveled up. Nice. The level ups are mostly just determining how much mana and HP they have. It does not matter for how many licenses they can learn. That's totally separate. It is kind of weird to have both XP and LP. I mean, obviously, you can't have too much of one without the other. Like, obviously, someone with, like, you know, 1,500 LP is going to be at least level, I don't know, 16 or so. I have no idea. I'm these numbers off the top of my head. That's, I think that's close. Like, we did nothing but farm for LP. That farms for XP, too. Up to a certain point, at least. Yeah, see, right now, they, he's going for everyone 100%. To slow, and that's not exactly what we need right now. Though I do appreciate the oil fire combo there. Hey, a 12 chain. We're actually getting like decent experience now, or decent loot now. Go ahead and charge up there, Bosh. What the hell could go wrong with that? Uh, we've never actually been on the right side, so what the hell? Let's try it out. That's all we're doing is grinding here anyway. Might as well. Okay, let's see if we can improve Bosch's Gambit a little bit here. So right now, he's slowing everybody. Yeah, he's slowing everybody. There's no nearest 100%, is there? No, because that would be silly. How about if it's targeted by an ally? Then he should attack the nearest visible. And then everyone else will target the ally. And then he'll slow them. It's not a perfect solution, but it might work. Alright, let's try it. See what happens. I don't remember these frogs before. We attacked these guys before? I'm on level 13. They should be doable. They're weak to fire. Which means they're going to cast oil and flame on them. That should be great. In the meantime, Bosch will, of course, do his thing. Yeah, Bosch is going to do slow first on all these guys. They're going to cast regen, but that should be all right. And then all the oil and fires happen. Maybe. Bosch is still attacking, doing slows a lot here. But I think these are missing more than they're not. Unfortunately, yeah, this is not working out. The decoy, she's trying to do this. There we go. Bosch with the attacks. They are all slowed now, so that is why he started to attack. It looks like they all varied over. Yeah, that was a little rough of a start, but it looks like we did eventually get there. It still, He still did make it so that he attacked, or he tried to slow every single one of them. Not exactly what I wanted. Hello? Oh, right, you. Okay, let's attack you. I'm only going for the decoy again. But right now, I don't think it matters. Right, Bosch is going to slow down everybody, isn't he? Because there's no... 
I want multiple conditions. The thing I want to I want to combine conditions. And there doesn't seem to be a way to do that yet, if at all. If it's ever going to be a thing. What I want to say is like, if they're at or above sixty percent, and they're being targeted by somebody else, then go ahead and do it. As the entire area is going to go down south again, which I don't think we do. Let's go back. Let's try to get north. Most of these guys should respawn, so we'll have time to rethink our life choices. We could always drop this down, but the trouble is he'd never do it then, right? That is the risk. How about this? If you're targeting the leader slow. They shouldn't... Yeah, okay. That's kind of selfish, but maybe. They'll definitely do it less often. Now, currently, he is the leader. But that won't always be true. Like, Vaughn might be in the next group up or something like that. Yeah, so we want to go around this way. I really thought these guys would respawn by now. Ah, uh, here they are. All right, so he will attack. No, he'll slow first, apparently, because they're targeting him, I guess. So if he turns out to be the main target, he will slow for now. He's going to attack first, okay. All right. For some reason, it's working out now. I don't know entirely why. Hanla will occasionally do fire when she thinks of it. If these guys live long enough to actually, you know, make that a problem. I apparently can't see us, but that's okay. We are silenced right now, so Bosch can't cast any time magic. So the silence either wears off or we make it wear off. I don't even know what the hell a bar butt is, but I'm sure it's great. Yeah, Fronge is going to be out of magic until we tell her to learn charge, I guess. I think charge... Charge must be in there somewhere, because that's a red mage ability. And Penelo's a red mage. I mean, red-black, but still. Right now, though, the melee attacks is mostly what we want. Let's not go into the big giant explosion, though we do want to go that way, don't we? We do. Okay. I think also that way, wasn't that also where the sand elemental was? I don't, I don't see him. Possible that was only like, was only there during a certain time or something. I have no idea. I don't know why this guy got petrified either. I'm sure there's a perfectly good reason for it. None of our characters have the ability to petrify though, as far as I know. So far, so good. We've never been over here. Hopefully there wasn't a good reason for that. And this might have been where the sand elemental was. That could be what the reason was. Well, I'm glad to explore this new area. And if they keep on blocking, yep, use fire. Exactly. Good job, guys. Golden needle. We're going to set this off. It's going to happen. Just accept it. We did not. I'm kind of surprised. Ron's gonna set that off though, right? She did not. Somehow, somehow, we passed it by it. What do you know? Take a high ether for sure. Somebody's gonna set this off if I go by it. Yep. Yep, someone's gonna do it. Someone's bound to do it. It's okay, it trains up their uh, healing abilities, right? That's totally how you look at that. I'm just gonna set off this one here. Yep. Come on, Penelo is right in front of you. What were you thinking? Okay, three at once. We can totally do this. But this should fall into the gravity thing, so I'm unclear. Alright, well, someone cast Protect on me because we were surrounded by three. I'm pretty sure that was Penelo. I'm gonna go ahead and beat those guys up, which I appreciate. I thought we had... 
Oh, we had a gambit said. Oh, you know what? Because he's silenced. That's why. But I think we do have a gambit. Uh, nope. If your foe has HP 90. No, what we want to do is... Let's disable again. Disable is all rows in range. Okay, so... Here. Targeted by three people at once. We should definitely do something about that, right? I cast and disable. Turn that on. Though he's never going to do it because it's... Yeah, there we go. Do that. There we go. It's more likely to happen now. Of course, he's still silenced, so it's not going to happen now. But we can unsilence him. Uh, Echo, right? Not too many of those, but yeah. Guess we could have just taken Ash out. She would have done it for us. And she has that gambit already. I think she has the skill of Vox. I think that's what that is. Well, we're gonna run an Echo Herb, so that's gonna have to probably happen at some point anyway. Okay, so entertaining, but not necessarily. I mean, we got some experience. How are we doing experience wise? Okay, Bosch is 15, Friend is 18, Pendle is 17. We'll get, we'll get in there. Level ups are not that hard to get, at least this low level. Get to like 40 or so, it's gonna be tough for sure. We definitely need some speed up on these guys, because they are slow. Okay, good. Now they're targeting the Fron. So they're not targeting the leader. Boss should just be attacking. He is not. He thinks Fron is leader, which I suppose is fair. Yeah. Now he's now he's slowed and then he's killed. Okay. Wasn't killed by Bosch, but I'll just look at that. Went up this way? I think so. Yeah, we just haven't been in the middle area. We should definitely do that. A good way to level up. All right, we're just learning gamuts. Just gotta learn. Just gotta adjust. Just gotta figure things out. Gotta get everyone leveled up anyway. Might as well take the time, you know. All right, Bosch with the slows. He's probably gonna slow everybody because that's what he does. He likes doing it. These guys apparently have haste on, so countering the haste is actually probably not a terrible idea. As Fron and Penelo basically take these guys out. Although, if he wants to attack at some point, that'd be great, too. Like he heard me. It's like he heard me. So that's an idea. Maybe slow only on people who are hasted? That's totally something we have a gambit for. I know that. Oh, shit. There's, this, there's the... Oh, my not want to waken him up. So if they could waken up... Uh... There we go. Thank you. We got Bosch. Yeah, we do not want to get near that guy. This is where the elemental was. Okay. This isn't the only way we can go, though. We can go back down south. That might be safer. Go down to the area we have, areas we haven't actually explored yet. That'd be okay. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Let's not taunt the elemental. We're silenced yet again. Alright, let me... Uh... Trade Penelo for Ash there. She can get rid of that. Thank you. Okay, with that done... Let me Penelo again. We'll eventually be able to get a license for her to do the same thing, but... I think she knows Vox. Pretty sure. They are immobilized. Oh, and Penelo just got put to sleep, unfortunately. Okay, we need to get some kind of anti-sleep at some point. I have no idea. Pretty sure there's a name for that, but we have no idea what it is. Unfortunately, Penelo's just asleep right now. She's going to be for a while. A treasure around here. There we go. Okay, so gambit-wise, let's do that. If anyone is... Our target later, but if the foe has haste on themselves, then basically negate it with slow. It's not a perfect solution, but it's something. 
And the mobilize is for a group, right? That's for a group. We do attack groups quite often. But it should only happen once. It stop him from using too much magic, I hope. Oh, are you gonna wake up anytime soon? Do we have anything to wake her up? Antidotes. Remedy could work if we get a remedy. Don't have petrify, some of HP. Banish all foes in range, slow and stop, oil. Maybe damage. Remedy, I guess? Nope, remedy is not sleep. Uh, X potion is restore a large amount. There we go. We only have one. We're worth it for one. I don't think even Ash knows how to cast unsleep on these guys or wake up whatever the hell that spell is. Yeah, she does not. Um, I guess dispel? That's beneficial effects. That's not really going to help us. Yeah, we got nothing. We got nothing. Okay. Well, so it goes. Um, I have no idea how to wake up Penelo without using an item. Will she follow us? If we go off screen, I know she will. I don't know if she's going to wake up, though. Find out. Oh, there we go. Now she's awake. We just had to go to the next next screen over. Okay, well, I'm glad that was that easy, because otherwise I'd be very confused for what to do next. Yeah, so these guys are hasted, so immediately cast slow. And then Penelope just comes in and wallops them. Mobilize because these guys are many. But then wallop, and good job, guys. That was a good one, two, three punch there. If they don't have haste on it, I guess slow will help, but immobilize is good in groups. I'm okay with that. Good fire attack. Didn't have to say it. Okay, so we just need to go... Hmm. Oh, the reason why we've never been down that way is because we needed to go south. Oh, that's super weird. Okay. That's super strange. All right, so we can get over there. It's just a little trick of the map there. All right. Let's see what we can do. Yeah. I mean, Bosch just going back to his night roots and hitting people more often is good. We do want him to do time magic every once in a while, but we don't want to do him forever. The decoy is nice too, but I was hoping it would last longer. I think that happens with... Hmm. There's a way to make that last longer. Some skill. Or ability that I'm not thinking of right now. There we, we want to go... Yeah, keep on going this way. They seem to run slower with their, with their weapons out, don't they? Yes, I would too. Mother always said never to run with, your, with the scissors out, right? It's got to be going, like, at least doubly true for swords. Definitely do not run with swords out. A light jog is about all you can really do. But, like, a straight-on, like, full-on marathon run? Not marathon run. Sprint. That's what I'm looking for. Full-on sprint? Definitely do not. Uh, we don't want to go this way. I want to go up and then south from there, right? That's the only way to get down there. It's not the only way. Yeah, since we're already here, we might as well do this way. Already here. Very tricksy, though. Very tricksy. Okay, so this way we want to go... Okay, over to the west. Might as well fight these guys, as long as they're not an elemental over here. I do not see one. A couple of hasty guys, but... Bosh will take care of that. Actually, slow appears to be even more slow than haste is. It's a stronger debuff than the buff, is what I actually mean there. Okay. 
Braun is going a little bit crazy there. The mobile seems to have not worked, but the attacks will. But Fraun has both Protect and Shell on her because she casts that before she'll cast Lure. And those do seem to last a while. As long as you guys don't have a secret uh, your sand elemental somewhere, we should be fine. I tried, I could be speeding this up. Sorry, I always forget. It takes me a while to remember again. I didn't want to pay more attention to the way things were going, though, so that we could customize the gambits a little bit better. Easier to do that at slow paces, but I suppose we could speed this up now. So we got things mostly right, and now it's just a matter of getting them to the right amount of experience. Okay, there is an elemental over there. That is bad. Let's slow that guy first, and then immobilize. Yeah. So bad guy over here, Bosh. We can do about that. I don't. Can we actually fight the elemental? It doesn't seem likely, does it? Wasn't it level forty-five or something crazy? We don't actually know, do we? I don't know if we know. Yeah. Alright, the immobilizer is now seem to be working, but we're attacking anyway, which is great. Kind of look came in with the shell on Bosch, so he didn't end up doing too bad for himself there. Yeah. One of the great reasons to have a well, if not a not a white mage, at least a red mage on your team. Put a Phoenix down, which hopefully we won't need, but we are going to be going up against the Sand Elemental in a minute, so maybe we will. Alright, I don't see the Elemental right now. Probably went around the corner somewhere. Just got to be careful. Don't see the Elemental there, so we're going to attack these guys. Go. The elemental just go away. That's weird. These guys came in the middle of it, but Bosh went out. There we go. I have no idea where the elemental went. He couldn't have just disappeared, right? Is that a thing? Do elementals just disappear? I mean, who the hell knows? Okay, that was simple enough. No real treasure, huh? Oh, there we go. Treasure. Nine whole gill. I wouldn't call it that as real treasure. And I'm kind of tempted to look for the elemental. Because, I don't know, I'm crazy, I guess. It's the only real answer for that. I don't really have a good answer other than I'm just curious if we can take him. How'd this guy get behind us? I'm not even sure how that happened. Yeah. Okay, you shouldn't be a problem either. Bosch is slowed. We don't have an anti. I guess we have remedy. Remedy would work. Okay, we want to go. Go around this way. And then downstairs. I we saw an elemental. I could have sworn we saw an elemental here. Oh yep, there it is. There, hold up. Oh, Penal's going in. 45. There's no way we do this. We die. That's how. That's what happens. We die. Yeah, we've got a. We've got a knot though. It's 45. I thought for some reason it was 25. I think I'm thinking of these. Um, yeah, they're elemental. So we gotta go. Everyone, our party's gonna drop, and that's just how it goes. Yep, there they go. All right, so then we want to go back over this way. Oh, of course there's a guy here. We should be able to resurrect everyone now because the Sand Elemental should not be following us. Okay. So let's, uh, Phoenix down here. We have lots of them, so no harm. And Phoenix down, Penelope. 
Eventually. There you go. Whenever you're ready. Okay, and then... Oh, Penelo is sil They're both silenced. That's hilarious. They're probably silenced by the elemental, I guess it'd be. We only have three Echo Herbs. Uh, what we could do instead, though, is call in Ash. We'll immediately cure Penelo of her silence. We'll want to see she's cured. There you go. And then do the same thing. Whoops. No. Do the same thing for... Oh, Penelope's still targeted. Hold on. There we go. Okay. And do the same thing for Fron. It's better to use MP, which is totally renewable, than an unrenewable item. Alright. Get rid of Ash. Get your Penelo back. We're good to go. Okay, so definitely can't handle the elemental yet. That's good to know. I'm guessing, like, anybody could told us that. If, if I had known it was level 45, I wouldn't even try. 25, I'll be totally tempted, but 45, no way. Right, so the next step, we want to go south, because that'll help us. I guess we can go to the temple. Why not? Just one screen over. And we're about the level that Vaughn and the, what I'm going to ostensibly call the A-Team right now, uh, went to the temple at, so this should be about right. I still don't know if we're going to be able to take on the uh, moving wall, though. Seems unlikely at this stage. It's not with this group. Maybe the second one, but definitely not the first one. I'm assuming the second one's still there, which, I don't know, I would doubt. Yep, just bash them all. Alright, Toto Phoenix down. Great. Am I going the right way? I'm definitely not going the right way. Are we good to go here for the experience, but let's go ahead and first Bosch is silenced. Go straight for the Sand Sea if we can. Silence does eventually run out on its own, right? Like, we don't ne necessarily need to always cast a box, do we? Yeah. I thought for sure the debuffs eventually timed out, but... This has, so far, been very persistent. The right way, right? Yes, that is. Okay, great. Okay, so here we go to the Sand Sea. And in the end, what did our low, what did our grinding do for us? Okay, not so bad. Bosch was originally 14, now he's 17. Emil is 18, Franz 19. Okay, so we're catching up. We're catching up. We do the temple again. We should totally be caught up to Vaughn and Ash at the very least. Want to get Balthier up as well. But yeah, we should definitely go ahead and do this. So for right now. I keep doing that. There you go for right now. Thank you for watching. This has been Final Fantasy 12. I'm Peace Universe, your Peace Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.